and good morning we are walking in downtown Dalton but we are back on the AT we're actually on the trail it goes down the street here a ways but we are not going to be on the AT for long today we are headed to Pittsfield which is about I think six miles away it's a good day to smell the flowers it's not raining but it looks definitely like it could rain we're going to make our way to the motel by way of Walmart and a breakfast place and Dick's. we got a bunch of stuff we got to get for gear and, and the like, so um, we'll be busy doing that. The dude's getting ready to fish here. So uh, we'll check in with you all later. We'll be making our way for the day. We'll hopefully not have to walk too much. So that worked out pretty cool. I was able to get four days of videos. Actually, I've got my videos all up to uh, up to date now, even with yesterday's at that Dalton Free Public Library. It was closed, but I just sat outside and got the free internet. So uh, pro tip, uh, libraries are a great place most of the time to get really fast internet and it's always free. So, you know, if you're in a pinch or something or in a bad cell area, and you need to make a call or an emergency or whatever like uh, library is the place to go except for Parisburg Virginia I was there over Memorial Day weekend and they were closed and their internet was even turned off so uh, but most of the times 99 out of 100 you can get pretty good service there so thank you uh, shout out uh, early late morning shout out to the Dalton Massachusetts public free library thank you for letting me Use your Wi-Fi and getting my videos up to date. See ya. All right, it is our zero day in Pittsfield, Mass, and uh, doing my least favorite thing on the trail, laundry. I'd much rather be hiking today for sure, but uh, gonna take the time to clean everything. Solar went out to late lunch, early dinner with his aunt and uncle, so I told him I'd do the laundry. So I'll hang out here for like an hour, I guess, and uh, surf, surf my phone a little bit and get the laundry done and just relax. So take advantage of the day, just keep my feet up. Uh, but yeah, definitely the chores, the chores never end, even when you come off the trail. Hey everyone, I figured since I was taking a zero today, I'd try to spread some education. While I was on the trail, I was talking to Solar about audiobooks, and he asked me if I had utilized the Libby app. And what the Libby app is, it's an app that almost all the libraries, public libraries around the country utilize so that their uh, library card members can download free audiobooks, which is an awesome feature. I downloaded it after requesting a library card from my local library looked up Bangor and popped it right up there and he's put in your number and, and you can search and filter by library card you can see here you can request three at a time and have three out at a time which is really cool unfortunately the Bangor Public Library doesn't have as quite as an extensive amount of books as Solar's I think Solar said his had like about 30,000 and Bangor only has 31, so a little restrictive there on what I could download, but I'll, I'll find one or two to check out, and that'll kill some time on the trail, and maybe I'll learn something, a thing or two along the way, but, um, you know, maybe your library where you are has more books that you can download for free. Check out the Libby app. Hey, 
Hey everyone, it's time for another installment of QFTP, Questions from the People. And these questions come to us from Ryan. He's got a couple of great questions here regarding pack, pack weight, and items that I've been able to send home, and items that I uh, you know, couldn't live without at this point. Some favorite items. Here are his questions. Thank you, Ryan. Up here in Northern Pennsylvania in Potter County, getting a little climb in on the mountain on the uh, Susquehannock Trail system. A um, couple questions, twofold gear related. Um, first, what was your target pack weight, base weight plus your water and food for a five day period? What was your maximum uh, weight that you wanted to try to keep within? And second is uh, twofold. Uh, what is the one piece of gear that you found you had with you that you didn't need once you started on the trail? and and then the uh, reverse of that, what is the one piece of gear that maybe you didn't have that you found that you needed and you might now have with you? I um, hope you're having a, having a great trek, continuing north, and hope to catch up with you soon. Have a great day. Hey, Ryan, thank you so much for the questions. And those are actually two really good questions. Um, the first one, I was shooting for a pack weight, and I started out with a four-day carry. Uh, I did do five through the Smokies, but starting out, I had a four-day carry, and I was shooting for a total pack weight of 30 pounds with water and four days of food and my base weight. I weighed in at the visitor center at Amicalola Falls at 31.3, so I was pretty happy with that. Uh, I was happy with that. Um, the things that I had, I had brought, there was a couple things actually, I had brought a, uh, just a gravity filter bag, three liter filter bag, and that's proved to be really sufficient uh, as a filter. I had brought a Sawyer Mini uh, Squeeze in addition, but that uh, I knew I was never gonna use it, so I sent that home. I also sent my pants home. Uh, I wore them a little bit uh, at the beginning, but I just found that they were really just uncomfortable in the heat and um, you know I, my typically my legs don't get cold even in the smokies and once they're wet it doesn't matter anyway because they're just going to soak you so i sent my pants home as well um i haven't really added anything to my gear but the one thing that i added that i brought with me that i had never used before was a sleeping bag liner and that's been a piece of gear that i've been really really happy with i had got a sea to summit it's just a rectangular shape. They say it adds three to five degrees of, of warmth, but you know, on a lot of these warm, where I started April 9th, I've had mostly warm weather really, except for the Smokies. So I've just used that as a real super, super thin sleeping bag. And probably in the last uh, six weeks anyway, I've maybe used my sleeping bag once or twice. Uh, I'm assuming that once I get further northeast here and a little more elevation, I may have to pull it out. But the sleeping bag liner, which I never used, was a really, really good addition to my gear. Uh, thank you so much for the questions and appreciate you.